is, uh, I think your Riz is actually worse than me. You do even less than me because you don't even look. Yeah, you're so much. First, so first of all, I can't look because I don't have my glasses when we go out. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know what's a 10, what's a 6, what's a 4. <laughs> it just comes up to you straight To, to me, everything's a 10. Well, bro, the amount of times where I said like, oh, like, she looks cute. And you guys are like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> We're obviously here again for another episode at the Le Studio Le Remarque. This is the spot to be. So, I forgot what episode we're at, to be honest. I think this is eighth, episode eight. I thought, I'm it, was already lost. I thought it was seven. No, we did seven. I think it's 12. So, we're at episode eight right now. He said 12. Yeah, I think it's 12. It's not 12. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, I'm the one that's keeping track. But you uh, just said you eight. forgot. Listen, yeah. on today's episode, as you guys know, I wanted to kind of like introduce. Seven, eight. I think it's 12. It's eight. Oh. Anyways, well, I yeah. wanted to incorporate would you rather. Remember at the beginning of every oh, episode? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just to, to... Loosen up a bit? Get get the mood going. <laughs> but it's... it's this, is, this is one that I saw last night on TikTok, so I was like, I have to add this in here. <laughs> and the one is, would you rather cheat on your girl or snitch on your boy? <laughs> Shit. Watch what y'all say now. <laughs> <laughs> And, and by the way, this is this is your girl. <laughs> like this is your girl. This is your my wife my or just your, your wife. Like okay, well, snitch what? Or like he's your boy's going to prison. Oh, that's crazy! Yeah. Shit. Like he's getting he's going to twenty five to life. I'm cheating. I'm cheating, bro. He's taking yeah. no, he's not taking twenty five for a cheat, 25? bro. No, no, no. twenty five for a cheat. He's not taking twenty five. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this though: if she's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> she would probably uh, most likely understand why <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she gets to pick who's gonna you know what I mean I'm gonna be like listen I had to cheat cause otherwise my boy's getting 25 to life 25 that bro. just sounds crazy 25 to, me, to life but you didn't answer I said cheat oh uh, cause honestly, but honestly if lot. it was my girl my girl would've been like you know what yeah I, I would've cheated on you too uh, right right Oh yeah, Can we then I'm dropping her. What the fuck? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked up still. But what, what? But would you guys accept it though? Would yes. you guys accept that your girl says I cheat on you, but I saved my friend? 100. percent But it's what if it's the friend that you don't like? <laughs> the the friend in the friend group that you don't like her. <laughs> Maybe 25 years is not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm a, I'm a real. Okay, so I'm... cheat or not cheat. Uh, uh, <laughs> Shit. Say it. I'll, five. Cheat, I'll cheat. I'll cheat. I'll cheat. Cheating 100%. I, I don't. Like, he's, no, I don't care. If, if I, but 25 the thing years. Though, is that if it's, it's my, if it's my girl, if I if I come back and I say like, I didn't cheat on you, she's going to be like, you're fucking stupid. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, I For get 25. That. No, 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 no way. Mm. So this is another question that's going to mm. put, that's going to be like a leeway to the topic that we're going to be talking about. But this is one that's kind of been like, like people have used often, and it's would you rather be broke and happy, or rich and miserable? How could I? I don't see how could you be rich and miserable. As of yo, bro, you can do whatever you want. A lot of people are rich and say. miserable. I know that's the worst part. I'm not super rich. I, I don't know, but I think I'd still choose broke and happy. To be honest, hmm. broke and happy, broke and happy easily. You know why? For the video I sent you. You know the video that says, like, it doesn't matter how broke you are, you always have your boys, and yeah. being with your boys will always be a good time, and you're going to have fun. But being broke is hard, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I know. I'll yeah, I'm, talking, I'm talking broke, broke. I'm not talking about, like, like staying how we are now and being happy. I'm talking about, like, Oh, like broke. street broke? No, not, like, homeless broke, oh. but, like... Like, like I can't pay for my um, like you're always like chicken. you're always trying to like you know KT or like you're always like you know you're not always able to go out or like you know you know where everyone will go to an event like you can't always come or like your boys are covering for you or you know to go on a date with your girl like you're not able to like that's you know, tough contribute to the relationship that's type really thing. tough like that's broke and miserable but you're happy, happy as hell you're happy as fuck I think I still choose happy as fuck so. yeah Obviously, you, you would choose the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> miserable. Well, I think I think someone says like I'd rather be like a, a uh, like, or whatever. like crying on a yacht. <laughs> oh damn! Something like that. No, but realistically, no, no. I I definitely want to be happy and broke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. Yeah. I... Um. But basically, what I wanted to get into, based on this though, 
and obviously it's it's going to tie into maybe more so men's mental health but i want to talk about like mental health in general and i kind of wanted to just like ask like a blanket question and just ask you guys how you guys are doing how I, you doing i'm i'm uh, great what? i'm i'm why what? you're bugging what Bro, Did what? You Yo, the question, question was not it that It was actually super simple. It's because I was about to say, no, but, how but do you feel? Honestly, and if you, you guys, guys first. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys would take take a second, like introspect, like 30 seconds. Okay, well, and I ask second. you guys, and I ask you guys, how are you doing? Yeah. Like actually, like overall lifestyle, mental health wise, how are you guys doing? I got 30 seconds, bro. Yeah, I just want to know how you're doing. That that It's going to help you to yeah. feel better, no? <laughs> yeah. Well, yesterday you liked no, that. No, it's not. What what the fuck? Oh. What do you mean, bro? Yesterday you liked that. This guy's rocked the world. <laughs> Answer the question. I got 30 seconds. Oh, okay. You want to take a 30 second? Well, answer it if you don't need 30 seconds. I need 15. But then, it's not 15 yet. Now it's 7. So, by the way, guys, I'm looking for two new co-hosts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling. Overall. Um, I think I'm... I'm Mental health. I'm... I'm, 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 I'm I mean, I could um, be better, but as soon as I'm with him, uh, things um, are going bad. No, no, no. I, Carl's mental health is all, is all fucked up. <laughs> Still, I, I, am I happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good. Yeah. Uh, life is good. Work has been good. Uh, yeah, relationship been whatever. Um, ups and downs. Yeah, ups as and always. Downs. And uh, yeah, roller coaster. Roller coaster. Hmm. Yeah. Mountains. I'm great. I'm actually super great. I'm happy. I'm chilling. I'm hungry as fuck right now, though. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. I'm hungry as hell. But uh, if anything, I'm. I'm great. Life is good. I don't think you guys understood the premise of the question. Well, you did. You didn't. I'm not talking about like now. No, no, no. Overall, I'm. I'm actually happy. Yeah. Yeah. Would do, would you guys? Would you guys be able to remember the last time where like you guys were like struggling? Or cried or Like anything? mentally. Well, crying, I'll go into it afterwards. But you guys remember like the last instance where you guys were like struggling mentally? For me, it would be before Love Island TV show. Mm. Like bad. Mm. A good like six, seven months of being like, because I was too much in a comfort zone. And I couldn't get out, like I couldn't get out of it. Yeah. And we had spoken about that a little bit before you you left on your on your trip, and it was just horrible. That's why I actually went on Love Island. I went on Love Island for a new experience and just get out of my uh, comfort zone. I think it was the best thing, best idea I've ever had. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, it was very hard mentally before that. Uh, it was just not where I wanted to be in my life, and I felt like nothing was moving for me in my life either. Even if like I I tried or I think I tried to like make some moves in my life or whatever, nothing was happening. I was just staying there. Yes, mm -hmm. that's yeah. it. So it was very hard for me. And what about after that, since you've been back? Since I've been back, uh, obviously I got a little, like, anxiety issues coming back from the show, but I wouldn't say, like, as... As bad as it was before. But it, it's different. One is because of the show, but bef before the show, it was not because of anything. It was just me being too much in my comfort mm. zone and not being happy with where I'm at and not feeling like I'm going forward with my life. Like, I'm getting older. I'm not old, but you, right, know, you right, get right. me. And, yeah, things are not just going the way I want it. Like, time was going by, but you felt like you were staying stuck. I was just not doing anything. My days was just passing by. So I was always waiting for the other day instead of, like, making one day being important or right, one right. day being productive. Um, And still, still today, I still struggle with this, like, to make sure that every day is uh, productive or it's, like, let's say important or make it important or whatever. Mm. Always think of oh uh, next Wednesday, next Thursday, I'm mm -hmm. gonna do this, this, and always push back what I have to do, you know? Yeah. This I think this is like the biggest problem so many people. Yeah. Uh but me myself I'm I'm in it too, you know. So Yeah. It's always like that. You always you kind of always waiting for you know like next week yeah. or next month or the Pushing next it. or the next event that you have. Yeah. And from now until then it kind of just feels like they're filler days. Yeah. You know? And that's why like the the perspective like time flies because you're waiting for something that's happening like at the end of the month so then the whole month just passes by so quick because you were just waiting for that one day that's exactly. waiting for you at the end of the month that was iconic or that was going to be something special mm. and then the whole month passes by and you're like fuck like what did i do like Nothing. you know for the whole month of whatever halloween you know the whole october month passed so quick yeah it's like some uh, sometimes i saw it on tiktok and people forget that 10 years ago you want it so bad to be where you're at right now, but mm. now you want to be five years from now. 
and in five years you're gonna want to be five years from now like yeah, you know like it's just time. it's you always just project yourself in the future but br that brings anxiety and that brings miserable being yeah. miserable because you always you're never happy of where you're at at the moment yeah which is okay to a certain extent to like because you'll push yourself in a certain way uh but i think people should appreciate moments that they are you know absolutely and that's why i think that the saying goes someone um you know someone living in the past is someone that's living with uh, depression somebody living in the future is somebody that's living with a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. and only somebody living in the moment can they truly be happy well wow. and it's facts and because quote that <laughs> just, just talks. It wasn't mine. I, I, I had seen it and I, when i when i read it i was like damn that's true you know and it was also another one that like reflected like the, the like living in the current moment was uh yesterday's history tomorrow's a mystery and today is a gift that's why they call it the present I've seen why he came here no. dropping bars like what? quote that again yeah. <laughs> but but they they resonate with me so much because that's how i that's how i live by like for for the last for the last few years that's how I've, I've i've lived by and that's kind of what's helped me the most with my mental health it's for me whatever is in the past like is in the past mm, yeah. like that that's done like i i whoever sergio was back then like i killed that guy mm -hmm. like he doesn't exist like there's no going back to him like none of that environment exists anymore so i don't yeah. i don't think about it because why would i think about things that i can't i can't i can no longer control Facts. like oh i could have done this differently i could have done that like if you live in that kind of a mindset you, you're kind of that's where like i feel like the, the feeling of feeling depressed is going to come from because you're not going to be happy where you are now because you're reflecting about everything that you could have done differently in order to not be where you're at right mm -hmm. yeah but on the contrary where you're at now is based upon the decision you took in your past and thanks to that you're changing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then i don't think too much in the future because you're always chasing something right you're always like now like it's and, and that goes with times as much as it does with materialistic things like you always want like you get a car you always want a nicer car and a nicer car and mm -hmm. you want a bigger house and then a bigger house and you, you always you're always chasing something rather than just being happy with what you got now mm -hmm. you know so i think that's one way of kind of, of living by things is really just like appreciating the moment that you have like right now even if you're not doing anything of your day i think it's super important that in the times where people are not doing anything let's say you're just having like an, a day to yourself or it's your day off i think it's very important to do some introspecting and just kind of uh give yourself some credit off of everything that you've accomplished so far and everything that you got going on for yourself you know like give yourself a pat on the back and realize that yo like you went through some dark times right and you're able to acknowledge that you overcame them and just to be happy and proud of yourself of where you're currently at i feel like is a great way to bring people back to Thanks. being in the now mm. you know and and recognizing what you've been able to accomplish and i think that kind of just puts people into a little bit more of like a a woke state of what's going on in their life yeah definitely <clears throat> i see things more as um everything happens for a reason so whatever happens is just you know meant to be if anything if i got a ticket for doing this it might have saved me from an accident this isn't that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so like you just do whatever you want and just think like oh we're all gonna die so it's it's really whatever that's really the facts that the, the tiktok that we all saw you know was like you know we're all gonna die so like why would you care what anybody thinks and then like it zooms mm, no, out yeah. and it's so and it, it's and actually it, <coughs> it's really really true though yeah. and it, it's it's scary to think but that's what it is bro everything that we go, got going on is going to be irrelevant in a hundred years time yeah. it's crazy it how small we are 50 also. years time yeah it's crazy how small we are, like in the like galaxy and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like we're actually so tiny, so it actually doesn't matter. I saw um, a TV show on Netflix, and it and it says, um, "What do you guys think of this quote?" It says, "We think that Bert is beauty, right? It's a beautiful thing, and we think debt is a horrible thing. Why do we think so? Debt comes, uh, Bert comes with debt. Like living yeah. comes with debt, and yeah. one of them we say it's horrible, and one of them is beautiful." How do we know? Because we don't know what's after death. So what do you guys think of this quote? Well, it's because death is kind of like associated to like your adventure being over, right? Mm -hmm. Like you'll never be able to experience the things like all your friends, family, and loved ones, like and, and all the things that you've ever loved doing, like going to the beach or, you know, you know, partying or being with family, it all just comes to an abrupt end, mm -hmm. right? And it's the fear of the unknown also that, that kind of, that, that that's scary, right? Because people just think, you can't think of life after death. You can't think it. Mm. Anybody who tries to think about life after death right now, you're going to psych yourself out because <laughs> you can't think of nothingness Yeah. because we've never experienced it. I don't know. You can't even think about what it is to feel like when you're asleep. I do. You can't. 
Mm. There's no way you're 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 you 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 go to sleep and you it's the time between you be going to sleep and you waking up. There's that nothingness that you ha- you can't experience. Mm. There's no way for you to tell me what that nothingness is, and that's essentially what death, you know, feels like. You would right? think would yeah. feel like right. So you're just not there. So I think once you're dead, there is no sad moment anymore because mm. you don't know what's happening. You're just not there. But I think it's leading up to thinking that one day this will all end is what makes things sad. Mm. So I think it's like you're 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 living a good moment, right? Let's say you're out and you had a great time where you had a great trip and then you have like this moment where you're thinking about like, damn, I'm going to die one day. And it's like all this hype and all this nostalgia that I just witnessed is all going to come to an end and that's what's sad. Yeah. Okay, but would you say, because in my opinion, a birth and death is, and death is, is beautiful because would you want to be immortal? Would you want to live forever? No. I think death is what makes life beautiful. As if you got to enjoy the yes. moment that you're, you know. That's right what now. I'm saying. That's why I think death is as beautiful as. And as I also think death is also necessary. Yeah. Because if death wasn't guaranteed, like we would we, not be wanting to grind the way that we want to grind. Because yeah. I know I have a thousand so more years. Yeah, we'd be so comfortable. You know? Even worse than now. And I, I, like as a civilization, as a whole, the advancements that we have in technology and stuff like that wouldn't have advanced as quickly mm-hmm. if we had forever to live. We'd still be back throwing fucking sticks and stones, Ta-da's. chasing mammoths. Uh, yeah, I wanted to know: Do you guys have like, um, like who who do you guys typically go to whenever you guys are feeling down in that moment? Like, who's the person? Like the one person that you know that you could always call up or hit up if ever you guys really feel like you need to talk to. Oh my god, my cousin. Uh, Portugal, your cousin. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Every time, if I feel bad, whatever, if I feel sad, I just call him, we just talk, he cheers me up, whatever, and we just, you know, when he was here, we just go out to eat, just drive around, whatever, I just talk about how I feel really, and uh, if I if I have to cry, I'll just cry, he'll be here for me whatsoever, and then mm. that's pretty much it, yeah. I, I would say in 90% of the case, it's always you guys, but when I'm feeling like horrible, yeah, terrible. Yeah, like, like your lowest. Me too, usually. Mm. Shout out, me too. Um, Shout out, me too. I... Always, I'll just call Michu and like what 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 I like about Michu is Michu doesn't ask any kind of question, like of why I feel like that. I'll just tell him like the subject, and he'll just cheer me out and not be like like asking me. You know, sometimes they ask you not not Michu, but someone can ask you stupid question. You're trying to open to them, and they ask you the question that you don't want to be asked. Yeah, and why are you at, sad? Yeah, why are you sad? I just I told just you told that. you why. Stop yeah. being sad. Stop, Stop what? crying. I think that's a natural response to people, though, because I think like they feel like they need like because you're opening up to them that they need to ask you certain questions in order to be their therapist. But mm. and oftentimes you just need them to 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 hear you out, like, and they don't even need to talk. Mm, that us, you know what I mean? Like you, you like it's like you don't need to ask me these questions. Just like be here with me and just listen to what I have to say. That's what Michu does. Yeah. I'll I'll be so like serious with him and be like, yo, yo, like I need to talk, whatever, and he'll just send me like, what's up, mm. and then I'll talk a big brick. And he'll say like a one sentence thing of like, oh, I don't understand you. I feel you. And then another brick. And then it's like, yeah, bro, you'll, you'll feel it. better. Or like, I get it. Like, I understand you. Like, don't worry about it. Like, I'm, I'll be there for you. Simple, right? Mm. Yeah. This or a little hug. Yeah. A little hug. hug feels nice. Mm. Like a nice little warm hug. You're like, mm, thank you. <laughs> no, not you? Yeah. Okay, good. No, no, not no, you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you were hating on me. But t- like, no, 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 but typically, any, like, with those kind of things, I have. Like with, with small little stuff, like I'll I'll I'll, I'll talk to people, like I'll, I'll call you guys up, but like for big things, I I don't think I have a go to person. I don't think I've ever y- y- used a go to person. Like if I if I have to talk about like a situation that's like a, like a breakup or, or like or whatever, like I'll, I'll talk to my brother. But I'm talking about like 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 at a low 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 point. I'm I'm typically somebody that don't likes to impose my burdens on other people, and I feel like talking about my problems would kind of like instill my burden onto them. Mm. So I don't I don't do it like not even my partner or anything because in, in my mind it's like why would I don't want to put like what I got going on onto somebody else and then kind of like bringing them down with me, you know? I think it's not a good thing because let's say it's your partner, you just have to talk to them and they'll be here for you, you know. Well, so to be fair, the partner, partner. The, the partner I had at the time was not good. To- <laughs> <laughs> was not, was not a good person to receive like 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 no, stuff like that you know so like I, there's there's certain people that you know you could talk to certain yeah. things about and like there's there's other people no if he touches no no listen listen time. listen listen why did he do that like he just he just became daddyish doing that daddyish he just became what no I went from no, I went yeah, from yeah. daddy did... to zaddy 
It's hot. Yeah, it is kind of hot. No cap. Yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a take for you. Um, because you just said uh, talking to your partner. So I we've seen that a lot on TikTok, right? What do you guys think about a man open up his feelings to her partner? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I think now the society see it. What? Because I have a take on it, but it's a hot take. But go. I feel like now, like, I mean, back then, whatsoever, um, people used to see it as uh, weak. You know, if a guy talks about how he feels, he seems like weak because we have to seem like the alpha male, whatever. Mm -hmm. So you can't cry. You can't talk about how you feel. You can't talk about all that shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, which is not a good thing. That's how we were conditioned. Exactly. But uh, now I think guys are more are opening a bit more now because of TikTok, especially just like you see like uh, the bros talking about, um, um, oh, I'm here for you, whatever, whatever on TikTok, like just cheering uh, us up like you okay see wait no, no no that's what i meant so what you're saying is true but it's just us like cheering up together yeah. i'm talking about saying it to your partner because you're in a you relationship you're in a oh. relationship and you open up to your partner the reason i'm asking is because there's a lot of people hot takes on tiktok they say open it open up to your partner is a bad thing like or you have to filter out what you say because she'll see you as weak pro like yeah. possibly or whatever so yeah. that's why i'm asking like what do you think about that? like you with your partner to his question you're at your lowest 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 do you feel comfortable saying like putting all your burden on her or like saying everything that you feel like to her or you feel more comfortable actually like telling your cousin or telling your bros about it you get me yeah do you, the reason i'm asking is because some people say that girls will take advantage of that later on when you're going to be at some at your weakest Another, point yeah yeah so let's say let's say you have a, a year with a person right and in those years you have four times that you're at the your girl. lowest mm -hmm. and you tell her all your weak points and then after that one year or whatever it doesn't matter time frame and then you guys have a big fight or whatever and she brings back those four weak points mm, that's crazy you get me that's why i'm asking the question so what do you guys think of of that do you think you should like open up or you think like 50 50 what, what, what's your take on that I still would open up because uh, <clears throat> I think I have to be, it's scary, but I have to be vulnerable, vulnerable in a relationship mm -hmm. as if I have to open myself. I have to talk because um, if I do it, maybe she'll feel comfortable enough to do it with me. Mm -hmm. So being vulnerable is scary, but it's a must, in my opinion, in a, in a healthy relationship. Yeah, I think in a healthy relationship too. And I think it also depends on your partner too. Like how good are they at receiving that kind of information mm -hmm. and how like empathetic they could be. I think in, in those situations, people are in relationship with the wrong people, mm. you know, and it's not like the, the partner for them. But I think like even if you don't want to talk about these certain things, I think it's important to have a partner that if ever you did talk about these things, that they would be able to receive it. Mm. Like me, I, I personally choose not to. I know that I have nothing to do with like my, my partner. Although I know that the partner that I would want to have ideally would be somebody that would be able and willing to receive that kind of vulnerability from me, you yeah. know, but I understand the whole like the whole point of the question is basically like, would you be willing to like allow yourself to show that you are allowed to be weak in a world where we're meant to show that we're strong at all times, right? Like basically, like, like would you think your girl would see you like as a weak being less, or, well, you know, less than what you are? I'm 60, 40 about it, like 60 I will not tell you actually how I feel and 40 I will. So and and I think in my relationship it was perfect to just go this way. So I'll tell you what I feel like it's necessary for me to tell you, but there's most of the things that I will just not say just because it's not, I don't I don't feel like you'll use it necessarily against me, but yeah. I just don't I don't like for me it's enough to just call me true mm -hmm. or call one of you guys and tell that other 60% of like the things I really want to say yeah. because the difference also is like I experienced also in relationships that I did say everything and I feel judged right away. But with you guys, let's say it doesn't matter what I say. I never feel judged. Yeah. So that's why I'll be more comfortable saying everything. Or um, I'll say it with my partner. I'll say something. She's not going to say anything at the moment because we're in the, in, the, in the emotion and everything. And later on, will ask me a question about it. But like a question, like kind of like a, a, a back judgment or whatever. So what, what you meant by that? Because I just I don't know. I feel it feels weird. Like which, and then I'm like, what 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 do you mean? Why why mm. am I getting this question now again? So it means that you're judging me. And the, no, no, I wasn't judging you. But 
You know, you get me? So, like, I don't want to go through that little thing. Michu doesn't call me back. You guys don't call me back four days later to be like, yo, explain yourself because I didn't... Uh, why, why are you saying this? Why you, you know? So yeah. It's more like that house, yeah. But I think there's also the stigma, like, um, what is it? That, like, women aren't meant or able to handle, like, men's problem. Like, that's something that's been going a lot on, around on TikTok. For now, that yeah. Said that. And also, not only that, but we're also in a day and age where girls think like this, right? And I found this video the other day, and it ties into exactly what what you said. I need to know y'all's biggest green flag. Rough. How oh, rough? What's a green flag that he could do that's going to get you to the rough? Don't act like a... Bro, guys be acting like females. They like want to speak about their day, like who cares? I, I care don't. about my day, not yours. You see what I mean? That just sounds Basically crazy. saying, like, like, the whole first part was was irrelevant, but basically she said, like, you know, in order to, like, get me, you basically had to just care about my day, and nobody cares about your day. Basically, essentially saying that, like, you know, I don't want to hear about your complaints or what you got going on. It's about, you know, <laughs> me, me. So, like, a, a girl like that would obviously not be opening open to receive any kind of vulnerability whatsoever, mm -hmm. right? Because in her case, she'll associate that to her desire to want to uh, sleep with you, mm. you know? But obviously, I'm not saying that all girls are like that. On the contrary, I know, like, this, you, you saw the state that she was yeah, in, yeah, you know, yeah, that's not the yeah. type of girl that we would go for. Yeah. But sadly, there are girls that think that way. Many. You know? Some of them, they don't look like, they, they don't, like, even that in the state that she was whatsoever, some girls, they'll look perfect and everything, but they think exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same way, yeah. So that's the issue, because, well, how are you going to figure it out? You'll, you'll spend your relationship with someone for six, seven, eight months, and then you'll have that weak point, and, and then she'll show that. you how much she can be selfish and she doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. It's but I think, I think it's, it's, I mean, it has to be to a point where, you know, obviously before you get into a relationship, you know what you want in a partner, yeah. right? You know what, what you would expect from them, and obviously this would not be it. Mm -hmm. right i feel like people that get caught in these traps with girls like this are people that don't know enough about themselves or what they want or they they don't see themselves to a certain high value of themselves yeah you know at that point you're kind of just settling for just because she's giving you an ounce of attention mm. you know there's no. one thing though that i know that's fucking up with a lot of people's mental health girls and guys and it's uh social media almost definitely like it's absolutely butchering people's mental health 100%. There's, there's one thing that I that I can say, and I obviously I don't like to speak uh, on behalf of other people, but I, anyways, I'm sure they'll correct me if I'm wrong. But there's one thing that I know that fucks up with a lot of uh, women's mental health is like the whole you know fashion body kind of like <clears throat> the the looking ideal perfect, looking yeah. woman that we, we all seek for, right? And yeah. the thing is that a lot of girls are not, they're not all built that way, mm. right? There's certain things that you can't change about yourself. But then in a society when we're trying to paint an image of this is like the ideal look or this is what, this is what's in. They're trying to aim for that look. Again. Don't aim for that. They, they, they try and then when they can't get that, it, it, it fucks up with your mental health. Because imagine being told this is the way to look like, right? This your is what, life. you know, That's this what is what's see. hot. This mm -hmm. is what's in. And you can't get to that. It kind of just makes you feel like okay, like what, like what am I doing if I'm not able, if I'm not even able to be with within the new, the, you know, you know, the newest and hottest trend, mm. yeah. you know. And through time, I was talking to, to 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 this about somebody the other day. Like through time, like fashion and what the ideal body of a woman would look like has changed so much. Even when if you go back to like the Renaissance and before that, you know, and even to this day, certain cultures and countries have a certain, you know stature of what a woman should look like sometimes they're, 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 they need to look skinny sometimes they have to be pale in the face you know the pale you look the more you, you, you look like royalty right or sometimes the bigger you are the more you're, it's associated to royalty because it means that you're eating good mm. you know yeah so it's just it's it's like it's it's like not knowing exactly what's good and what's not good and the fact that we're trying to put like a stigma on what is considered to be like good looking and not good looking and not only that but then to monetize off of it is crazy to me and i could only i could only empathize as much as i can with women that kind of feel that way would you say that men live the same experience or if not what is the equivalent of the men so what you just said is for a like woman yeah, yeah, yeah what would you say that the equivalent of a man I, th I think it's a like a man's lifestyle like can he provide you know can he like, like, there's some physical attributes like can he provide is he tall mm. you know and stuff like that but it's more so like you know you know, does he have the money? Can he take care of me? Um, it's. I think it's very most, much more so on like the providing side of things and protecting side of things. Like, is he going to also be able to, you know, physically protect me if ever, I, you know, I'm getting Something harassed happens, at one point? Yeah. So I think it's more in that aspect that if you're like a skinny, you know, no, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with skinny, but I'm just saying in, in the context that we're talking about. But like, if you're a little bit more scrawnier and you also don't have money, it's like you don't have much to provide for the, for the females. Yeah. You know, 
in order to be able to be something in their eyes, you have to be decently fit, right? Oh. With, you know, oh, a, some kind of status or reputation, you know, out there in the world. And not only that, but also be able to provide a lifestyle that, you know, you could take care of yourself and your partner. And your family. Yeah. But again, I think that's a byproduct of, you know, social media and what people are are now showcasing is the way to go, you know? Yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, it it's just, it, it, it's, it's just, um, I would just want to say, and I know it's never going to change anything, but I, I feel like I just want to say, why can everyone just live their life, man? Be yourself. Yeah. Just be yourself. Like, I, I, I but opinions, man. Yeah. Opinion. You should look like that. You should provide. You should blah, blah, blah. Man should be like this. Woman should be like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Why just do you do me? That's it, bro. Concentrate on your life. But I know it's just like we're humans and it's just yeah. one person puts their opinion on something and they're like, yo, it has to be like that because I said so. Yeah. Okay, where does this come from? Because I said so. And I'll, I'll ask the, I'll ask my other friend to say, hey, listen, it has to be like that. And these two people are be like, okay, it has to be like that. And then three, four, five. And then we start a trend. Mm -hmm. And then women's in 2010 to 2020 has to look a certain way. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. No. People should be able to do whatever the fuck Eat they themselves. want, but it's never going to work. I'm, I know I'm saying that, as, and it's never going to be a thing. Yeah. Even if people fight for it, if we, we vote for it, doesn't change anything. Yeah, it's unfortunate because there's a lot of things that, you know, I feel could be settled by just accepting people for, for who they are, you know? But now it's, mm -hmm. like we, we, now it's like we want certain things, right? Like now it's like people always go like into, into like relationships and stuff by, with having like a checklist. Oh yeah, you know? it's so like worse now than on ever. a date, it's kind of like this, right? You're listening to the person talk, right? And yeah. you're kind of doing like green flag, red flag. Yeah. Exactly. You're kind of <laughs> yeah. doing that thing, which I get. You're kind of like assessing, right? And the whole point of finding your partner is filtering out the bad people from the good ones, which I get. Yeah. But like back then, it just seems like it was a lot more like natural love at first sight. You see one that man, see like, that one woman, and yeah. And we spoke about yeah, this the other day, like you know, like I'd be back then, like you had to go and meet the parents first and ask them. To, to ask their daughter out on a date, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and then you'd get to know her. And there was no this this texting call and you'd have to go to a fucking pay phone and use yellow pages to to find her phone number. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like be, now you go on social media and you're like, wait, this girl that I, that I saw yesterday, now she's out. Now she's in New York. You know, so like you're, yeah. you, you like you, you base yourself off of somebody's like, you know, pre-assumption of what they got going on in their life based on what you see on, on social media, which we all know how fake and how uh, social media is just a platform to highlight your life. Mm -hmm. People don't realize. I've seen, bro, I've seen people <laughs> depressed as fuck on their phone like this. And they post like a story of themselves or like a From picture of themselves then. looking super fucking happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, in my mind, I was losing it. I'm like, how can you be depressed as fuck right now and decide to post a picture? And it just made me realize it's just for that validation. Mm. Yeah. You know, you want to associate your happiness through validation through social media. So you want to post that picture. You want to see the likes and comments that you get in order to get yourself out of that shitty mood that you're in. But the thing is that you're using something that's fucking, that's not even a part of you. <laughs> you know, rather as just getting the fuck up, going outside for a walk, go, hitting up your homies, asking them to go on, you know, for brunch, yeah. calling your mom or family member that maybe you haven't spoken to in fucking five years, but no, you rather post a picture instead. This is why I unzipped this, bro. Because I'm already not heated. That guy's heated. But that's why I hate, and that's why, like, like, yeah, I'm on social media, and I know it's super fucking ironic that I use social media, but I hate to use it. But like, I post what I have to post, and then I'm out. Mm. Like, I'm hardly on there after that. Like, I, like scrolling through people's stories, like, I don't find myself like doing that at all. I just post what I need to post, and then I leave because it's so fucking. It's brutally toxic. But I, I get what you mean. But the thing is, in the area we are right now you just have to do what you have to do we live in a social media life so i get i get what you're saying and you're 100 percent right but you know we all have even if we hate it if we hate that social media life or if we hate what it comes with you gotta do what you gotta do you know so you can't like we can't feel bad about it or like another person that's using social media can't feel bad about it like you know we live in that if you can monetize over it then do you that's why it comes back to my point before do you you know so yeah. like same thing same thing for you i don't think it's a bad thing that you're you say it's ironic because of the take that you said it and after you're saying like uh, you're using social media i don't see it as a bad thing no yeah, you're right. it, it is you come back to the same thing you do what you got to do and it is what it is if yeah. you use it correctly though uh like the thing i like to say about both of your account i always say that is you guys are bringing a service 
and you're helping people. So for you, it'll be, I see, we've seen people like DM you and people comment on your thing and be like, yo, like you really helped me out or like, nah, I want to go to the gym or now nah, like I want to be better for myself, blah, blah. And you help someone, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing for you. You help people. So that's different than the thing that you wanted to put on like yeah. that validation. You don't look for validation. At first, you said it earlier for your the, your whole Sergio Talks page. It was because you went through a breakup and you just wanted to talk share about it. In. Yeah, and then you share a message and you help other people out going through their breakup. So you bring a service. I think using social media for that, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. using it for va male validation or women's validation or whatever it is, and then like associate your happiness with other people's validation. That's horrible. You don't. I I I know you don't post and be like, damn. I got like 40k views or like oh this one i got 600 views and like you you don't bring any kind of mood to it because you don't care about the views or likes or anything the only thing yeah. you care about is did i bring the message that i wanted to bring today mm -hmm. and then if so then usually that's how you're happy because you helped other people mm -hmm. you know we went to to tulum and this guy surprised me and it's, it's something super no normal and common these two guys were like not having a bad day but they were like a little moody because they were hungry but nothing crazy whatever and we went to the to the with the store went to the store and got some food whatever whatever and there, there's this little guy little guy and just help with the bag sergio whatever and sergio was moody as fuck but as soon as he saw this guy he gave him all he has a stack of money whatsoever give it to the the, the kid bro sergio was like this going out the store mm. walking and I'm like, yo, you're good. He's like, yo, this little kid made my day. I'm like, I, I, his joy was my joy. Yeah. The way he was happy just from him giving money because he helped me and blah, blah, blah. And then he was happy doing my bags and I gave him money and he was so happy doing that for me. Then I, I was able to give back. Mm -hmm. And then you, you felt joy. Mm -hmm. So that's, small that, things. yeah, small, the small things that bring you joy. Well, that's the thing I, I had spoken about for the first time. And when I, after I spoke about it, I was like, damn, this is actually true. When I when we had gone to the podcast in, in Toronto and I, I I was I had said a statement at one point where I said that like to me like like obviously I'm not I'm not Elon Musk I'm not Jeff Bezos but I have money now right so to me like that's not like what my form of currency is now right now in my life is moments in time and and providing for other people you know so like that to me that is my form of currency mm. you know to be able to do something like that where that person their form of currency is receiving money for me it's just bringing that person joy yeah and it changes my whole fucking mood and if i could i would do that you know 10 times over and also at the last day in tulum before last day in tulum at some point i had no money to give right and with our whole fucking situation <laughs> right and it was me and matt in the taxi and i had no money to give and like the, the guy was a super like you know genuine kid that yeah. was driving us back yeah. and he had helped us and he like you know he, they had done a bunch of different things just to accommodate for us which they did not need to do mm -hmm. and he was not ex expecting money in return and i'm like damn the only thing that i have is is my hat you know and i gave him my hat and that and f for me it seemed like me giving him my hat meant more to him than if i would have given him money yeah and these are people that have they don't have a lot like this is tulum this is like and we were like in the back end of the slums of Tulum, bro. We were not yeah. like in the the party scene. Whatever. We're on the outskirts. Mm. Fucking drive 20 kilometers away outside the city of Tulum, mm -hmm. you know? He was happy too. He was very happy. Happy as hell. Bro. And like he was telling me in Spanish, he was like, you know, I'm going to hang this up in my tattoo, you know, in my tattoo shop and whatever. You know, I told him, you know, I'm like, this is a great American baseball team. And he was like, like, moment, like moments like that, you yeah. know? And like, I remember those things. I don't remember fucking popping bottles or anything like that. That's mm -hmm. You know what That's I mean? Crazy I forgot about that. That is crazy facts. The fact that you just brought it up now, I think about now, it. But yeah. I, I, I remember the kid though. Yeah. That's true. You, you know. That's why, like, I, I, I get, like, if guys that do it, like, it's, it's fine. Like, you know, when we went into Toronto, right? Guys spending, you know, 10, 20 Gs, I'd say at least $15,000 in, 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 in a night. Like I like I, I get that. Like it, you know, it's a great party scene and stuff like that. Obviously there it's was an right. intent to get girls, right? That's I would have to say that's most likely the only intent that there was behind it, right? But I have never ever done that. Mm. I've only ever done it to be like, yo, I wanna have a great time with my boys. So, so let me spend for us to have a great moment. Mm -hmm. I will never buy something to seek attention from other people, let alone other women, because I like you're not doing if, this for them. Yeah, I'm not doing it for them, but not only that, but like what kind of people am I going to attract? Mm. You know, like if you're coming around only because I start popping bottles and spending money, like you're not somebody that I'm going to end up settling with. 
because that was your initial attraction to me mm. and that's what i don't i don't want to that's why i don't want to base myself off of that that's why like when you came back and when you won i was doing it for you and all the girls that were coming around i had no problem giving them the stank eye Mm-hmm. and being like yo like don't go and you know and grab the bottle for yourself kind of thing like there's yeah, a respect yeah. there like yeah. like now all of a sudden I'm interesting enough for you to come and like you just automatically assume that the that bottles like- are made available for you it's like nah introduce yourself come say what's up don't make that be the first encounter where you just come and grab you know my bottle yeah. that I paid for to celebrate with my friends mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, you know yeah. like so that's why I, I'll never go like every any other time I'm gonna like spend money at a club or whatever, it's just either it's a reason for celebration mm. or just because I want to have a good time with y'all. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Actually, dope. Good take. Close. But then, like I, but then I hear like other people, especially from like the female female perspective, where like, you know, like they want to get their their like their their food paid for, or like they want to go to a place where they know they can be paid alcohol for and stuff like, that, which is fine. Like it's fair game. Yeah, it's fair game. They could do what yeah, they want, yeah, like one hundred percent, right? And it has nothing to do with the girls. They are they are like they are just aware of how things work, and they know that there are that there is men out there that are popping bottles in order to seek female attention. Mm, so that just yeah. becomes a win win. They're spending money to attract girls, and the girls are, are seeking coming. opportunity in getting free drinks. Fair game. And the girls could be like, we're gonna go for free drinks and not and even like it. care about them. Yeah. I bring the Uno reverse. She's paying for me. If you're a different breed. <laughs> But it is true different. though. I can't, like, it, it, oh, now it's not fair, fair game. I mean, yo, Uno reverse. Yeah. If if she wanted to get some D tonight, and I, so I, that's your form of payment. <laughs> but no, but I, I, but I know, but we're saying this, but it happens though, bro. The, the last few, Wait, the what? last few thurs, well, the last few Thursdays that we go to Cathcart, we drank on the free. Oh yeah, facts. And we didn't, we didn't do anything. We just, bro, we were just standing. I'm like, no, I don't want to drink, and they'd come, come with a drink. Facts. Fair game. So it's just but it's not even a fair game. It's literally not wanting to drink and then being like, drink. Yeah, bit, yeah. That's actually what I want to ask, though. What? I wanted to ask, like, what is, because like, we spoke about this in private, but I want the people to know, too, though. Like, what is your guys' uh, your, your guys's riz? <laughs> because we, we. Wait, should we, wait, wait, should we say each other's riz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. You, you're I start? Riz. Oh, you start. Okay, you, you yeah, say yeah, my yeah. riz? Okay, you start. His riz, him. It's just standing. <laughs> it's just being. No, it's standing, but he does this thing with his with his hands. He, Not only that. Yes. And then he like, looks left. No, no, he does this. <laughs> Look at him. And then he, he goes Look at left him. And he goes right. He's trying to raise everyone watching right now. Look at him. <laughs> it's true though. You He's do just this. chilling there. Left. Left, right. Right. And then they look this. Look, look. <laughs> and then That's where it is though. <laughs> girl passes by, he's like this. Yeah, you're way you know obvious. What I'm <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yes, my god. Yes. He, 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 will, he, he will stare at you. He, <laughs> until she stares back, he's like, he's like, Yeah. But would I do anything though? He's not gonna go Never, out exactly. Way. No. No. I'll look at you, I'll stare at you. You're fine as hell, but I I will never come up to you. I don't care. It's crazy. And giving her a chance. You, you why just, why you, do you, you say smile? There's no way that you just that's crazy. You're worse than me. I have more chance to go to her than you. That's fact. That's fact. <laughs> you, bro, a girl can be like that's facts. I'll be like, <laughs> I, what does she want from me? Carl, she's asking you but to you, go you see her. You get stopped a lot. <gasps> like a lot. I, I noticed that the other day. You get stopped a lot. <laughs> Not that much. You do. And every that, time we go out. Carl, every time we go out and we're walking, we always got to look back to make sure you know, it's Carl, <laughs> Carl behind. And I'm not even capping. I'm not even <laughs> saying this. for like, like I said, guys, these cameras, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying things as, as they are. Like These are the kind of things that happen. Last time, bro, we at cat cart, whatever, and there's there's two or three girls that just come up to me and Carl, like, oh, can we take pictures, whatever, whatever. And they asked me first, what well, Carl was right there. And then as soon as Carl came in the frame or whatever, the girl before saying anything, she said, Carl, oh, you, oh. <laughs> so she said, I was like, I was like, what's up? She's like, you, you. Oh. But not only that. Like, damn. When we went to, when we went to, when we went to Caribana, uh-huh. I thought people were noti- like were noticing Carl because of the, the, the Love show. Island TV show. Nah, yeah, yeah. people wanted to take pictures with Carl just because it's, it's Carl. Carl. <laughs> just, I mean, he was walking around like a Greek god. You know? <laughs> he, had, he, had his, he had his shirt off and everything. But I was just like, like that's that's. I mean, 
bro, you're, you're obviously doing something that works. So. Even if he was not next to me, remember? Where just me and you uh, walking and there's this random girl come up to to us and like, oh, is it Matt from my I'm like, yeah, where's Carl? Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, yes, nice. this is me. Is Carl with you? This is uh, um, uh, yeah, he'll, he's over there. Carl! This is my And name. then as soon, as soon as Carl comes... Hi, Carl! <laughs> so would you say that Carl's Riz is... Well, I think I would say it's probably both, but do you think Carl's Riz is his personality or his physique? Uh, Definitely his physique, but... Because you don't have a personality, let's be honest. What the <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> I was about to say... I, I I would say his Riz is... is no, no, it's actually acting dumb. I think people... Shut the think about up. it. Think about it. Think about it. Explain. How the fuck do I... I need... An, how yeah. the fuck I do I... Okay, I'm about to walk, do I walk gonna... fucking sideways? Huh? I'm walking. <laughs> no, I'm just walking, like bro. Just walking backwards. <laughs> A girl will be super straight up with you of what she wants or whatever. And you'll be like, huh? And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to have sex with you. What do you mean by that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she acts dumb, bro. His smile is here. So this is the first thing that she gets. Oh. So he'll be like this. And then the girl says something super straight, super, uh, you can understand. <laughs> and then I'm like, huh? And then she's like, oh, uh, that's what I, oh, what do you, So what you're, do saying, you you're saying that his Riz is like acting, acting innocent and, and smiling. Yeah. Yes. Just, he knows damn well what the fuck is going on. And he's just like, huh? And Most you know of how it's because I don't know what to say. <laughs> you know what's even more accurate is the fact that you you have so much no patience whatsoever that the girl's gonna say something very straight up. He's gonna act dumb, and you'll be like, "Carl, what the fuck?" Is I'm gonna be like, "Carl, she just said she wants to fuck you." What, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, "I'm like, sweet Joe, I don't know." What to say. <laughs> and him and him acts even more dumb. Where you'll be like, "Huh." What do you, yo? By the way, <laughs> we're addressing a story right here, right now. The other day when we went to the club, don't you ever fucking do that again. If a girl comes up to me and you know that I don't want to speak to that girl, <laughs> don't you yo, dare leave me. Yo, I, saw I, don't you, I, don't, I saw you see me see you. I, but it's not only that, but it was it was not the, the fact that the girl came and approached me. It was the way that she came and approached me. That like you came straight in for a hug. Yeah. A hug. I don't I don't I, know you I, like that. I, I backed up and I told her I don't I, I know I said it in a nice way but like every time I explain this story people are like you're fucked up I'm like I'm not I said it in a way like I'm like you know like how about you introduce yourself first yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah, it's yeah. simple girls yeah, do know? the same thing 100% it's like a girl if you go behind a girl to try to whine with her she'll turn around and be like who the fuck are you yes. but if you come in front From of her front. and you're like yo my name is Matt you're kind of nice you want to dance but it's also the perfect saying. way to kind of like to send her off because the minute where I said like why don't you introduce yourself she introduced herself I'm like oh sick let me introduce you to my boys <laughs> that just so happened to fucking ditch me <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I saw that I was like, I was like yeah he got but you, I, I realized I, I don't know around. if it's because I'm older or I don't know if it's because like I like I got him back into the, the, the single life and the dating game <coughs> that it's like that but you. girls seem to be like very much more so like straightforward <clears throat> they want <clears throat> what is that can you do that again <clears throat> What you? They're a lot more. They're a lot more direct. And Can you do that again? Please. I actually have no idea what the fuck that meant. Yeah. You like, just did. <clears throat> <laughs> like like assertive. Like you know they like they they but claim what they want and they, want, they what? Sorry, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. What's his riz now? Oh, his riz. I think. <sighs> of all of our rizzes, by the way, they they. It's not about our game or what we say. No. Just to make that clear. No, it's not what you say. It's how you... Your tattoos. Because mm. Riz is... Yeah, your tats. Your tats and his fucking rings I, I and think everything. It's, yeah, I think the, and, the, the, and the hand tats and the ring brings out something. You know what I'm saying? So he'll put perfume or whatever and then you'll have his phone right here. And good ass perfume. Yeah, just, just to, to show whatever. Nah, and he always does that too. Wait. Right. Like some some good ass perfume. Yeah, good like, ass perfume. I, That's his wrist. Doesn't have to do anything. Yo, he walks. Oh, and then <laughs> oh, and then mm, and then <laughs> ah, straight for a hug. <laughs> you know what I'm straight saying? Straight for a hug. <laughs> no, but Daras's wrist is. Riz is uh, I think your wrist is actually worse than me. You do even less than me because you don't even look. Yeah, you're so yeah, first, of all, I don't, first of all, I can't look because I don't have my glasses when we go out. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know what's a 10, what's a 6, what's a 4. <laughs> it just comes up to you straight To me, everything's a 10. Well, bro, the amount of times where I said like, oh, like, she looks cute. And you guys are like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, bro. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I would say is each other's riz. But uh, what would you guys suggest... 
because we sound like like we really sound like top tier douchebags right now. By the way, so what would you guys wow. what would you guys say? <laughs> I'm saying it because I'm saying it. Facts. I, if I'm watching this, I'm watching. The, I'm like, yeah, bitch. Because I, I'm saying it. I'm saying it in the way that not everybody has the ability to not need to use actual Riz. Okay, so what's our Riz? But well, what to... I'm what I'm saying is that we don't like like it happens. Just so regardless happens. if we're seeking it or not, like people are automatically drawn to us. Like just people in general, like forget like girls, guys, whatever. People are drawn to our to our type of energy and and, and stuff like that. But I'm saying, let's say for the guys that are 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 maybe not. Ooh. No, not, he's, he, yo, you're, you're digging. You're, the you're hole. digging your hole, fam. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it, but it's facts though. Because even yeah. at that, like we didn't look the way that we look now our whole life. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. We, I mean, I was, I was butt-ass ugly at some point. I was really... Wait, who, I, told, I, wait, who told you that changed? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you guys know what I mean. Let's say for somebody, let's say for, for people that are looking for some game, mm-hmm. you know, like what do you guys think would be like some advice? Let's say, let's say looks weren't necessarily... Like your strong point, what would you guys say? Like, is a good way to Ooh, riz being funny, being yeah, funny. Yeah, his Love riz is that. being funny. He'll being make any funny girl is crazy. Any girl laugh, and then could, she'll just. Yeah, but he's funny and good looking. What if you're just funny? That's also, enough. Girls th- love funny honest, guys. Yeah. Okay. I think what, I think that's that's what else. Because some people are not good looking and not funny. <laughs> oh, sure. the way you dress. Yeah. Yeah. I'm asking y'all. We're, no, we're, actually, we're having an open conversation. Actually, yeah, yeah. if you know how to dress, if you're not on. funny, somebody's hygiene. Hi- yep. Jinx, you want me to I didn't say hygiene. Okay. Hi- hygiene. Yeah. If you, if yeah, definitely. If you're not good looking, if you're not funny, if you look communication, if you know how to like talk properly. Yeah, I, think I don't think that does anything to you. Communication. Yeah. I mean, what do you mean? If your chat game is on point. Okay, chat game and okay, I I felt like communication as uh talking about oh today I feel like going through a girl like that. What? I got mixed, mixed yeah, up. Mixed up? Okay. Uh, I, 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 I didn't think it was going <laughs> to... I think it's also happening like I, I don't... I don't. I think for if guys are like that, I think if you go into situations with like a I don't give a fuck mentality, I think it could also go a long yeah. way. Even with chat game, maybe not. What? Because at first, it's the looks, but we we're talking about if you don't got the looks anyways. Sorry. But like I feel like if you if you, I feel like if you're able to nail other points down like having a good hygiene yeah. and you know taking care of yourself having a good sense of style but I think if you also have like a I don't give a fuck mentality I think whether you're good looking or not could still go a long way. Cuz I think like if a girl like is giving you some form of eye contact and like you know you're not giving her the time of day that's going to be like fucking look at me. So I think yeah. whether you're good looking or not, if you're not giving them the, the, the attention that deserve that they that they want, not deserve, sorry, that they want, mm-hmm. I think it also work in your favor. Be you know, that one guy that doesn't want to done a camera. Off. Cool. Joel, like and comment, the like, comment what you think, like if you say it, uh, because it's because you think okay. Uh, <laughs> he looks at that camera. <laughs> go in the comments. Uh, let us know if you don't have the looks for it. What you girls or guys, whatever. If the person doesn't have the looks, what else do you like or that person can charm you or like anything? If looks doesn't exist though, even yeah. if it's not realistic, yeah. but whatever. What a good episode. That was a good episode. You didn't talk a lot. Hungry as fuck. That's why he didn't talk a lot. Yeah. You better eat before the second episode. <clears throat> it's true. Eat this. What? Wow. wow. Why? All right. Why? That's all right, guys. It's been your boy, Sergio's so Talks. Matt. Carl. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Five stars on Amazon. Yeah, I want that five stars. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode, y'all. Peace.